Desmond of uh, tell us something small about Owan Kazawa Yakwai. If I now she's who I say, Oh, mommy, free him, but I can't take a crack at Jenna Gana for a joke. Um, yeah, if you mount Mount Poy Crapping, um, I was born and raised there till when I was 12. Uh, maybe 12 years now, we call uh, Belgium. Okay. Uh, mommy, not mommy to Belgium, and not even by Belgium. So I studied in Belgium, and uh, my dad around that time um, went to the UK. Okay. Um, fast forward, um, tried a career as a, as a professional player, but due to injuries, you know, meant to me and play at the highest level. Um, I studied, um, so when I got injured, um, I came back to Belgium, so I was in England for a bit, and I'm about back to Belgium. So. Maybe about Belgium, I'm uh, sports management. Okay. Um, in Bruges. Um, so after that, um, I had different opportunities uh, in scouting, okay. in management. Um, but eventually, um, I started coaching uh, in a club called uh, Lokrin. Okay, Lokrin, yeah. Yes, sporting Lokrin. Started with them uh, with the under 12, um, all up to the senior team, and then and a team called Bankrupt. Um, so after that, um, managed um, to go to Portugal um, for a bit. Uh, in between, I was also in Nigeria um, uh, helping out a, a very massive academy there okay. through a friend. So, of course, uh, as a young African man, you always want to come back and, uh, and do something for, for, for your nation uh, or continent. So, uh, prior to that, you know, uh, I was in Portugal. Um, I was there for a very short period of time as an interim head coach of uh, Lusitano side, which was a third division side. Uh, incredible experience for me as a young coach. Um, so after that situation, uh, I had to come back to Belgium because I had an offer from Antwerp. Antwerp, okay. Uh, Royal Antwerp, uh, under 18 and slash uh, under 21 uh, assistant coach. Which a fantastic experience once again. It was only like two, two and a half years ago. Uh, after Antwerp, and then I had a, I had a call. Um, to come and help the nation, basically. Wow! 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 <laughs> so short uh, intro about about how life went and, and how and where we are now. Before twelve years now, we call Belgium, no, we go school, we can have a school, we now call here. We call Cups Christian Unity Preparatory School in uh, in Mampo. Mampo. Yes. Okay. The name of Mampo is now what? Wow. Then now go school now about football, no. Um, yes, uh, you know, football has always been a sport, exactly, mm -hmm. like every Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, not me a winger. Um, also, of course, when you're young, uh, at that age, you know, um, yeah, you can play any, any position. Um, but especially when I went, when I went to Europe, um, of course, you know, as a young young boy, when you come to your your mom wants you to study, study. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the pressure was there to to study. But uh, of course, we used to we used to play as well, and, and yeah, always as a winger, I was really fast. Um, yeah, yeah, she um, she stayed till I think the age of um, I would say twenty. Yeah, she was quite 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 quite. Young when she left, so 22, mm -hmm. and then she left to, to Belgium. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, okay. she married a, a Belgian and then she left. Mm. Wow. wow. Who related to the uh, former Chelsea equipment officer? Uh, Oyan Papa. Oyan Papa. Yes. Wow. So, uh, the late uh, Eric Siedu. Um, Buffet. Buffet, yeah. Um, so my dad. Uh, was actually a police officer here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, worked with the CID and then had the opportunity to go to the UK after he served in uh, Afghanistan. Mm. Um, and then around that period, started as a as a cleaner um, in the UK. And luckily, uh, because of the kind of wonderful man he is, uh, worked his way up and got noticed by um, by Chelsea. Uh, as as he worked for a company that uh, went to clean in, in Chelsea Football Club, okay, and and the company was dissolved, but because he was uh, uh, very determined, uh, determined, they kept him. Mm. Um, they kept him there, and then from 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 a cleaner, he made his way into the academy kit manager. Um, wow. Worked with a 
loved his cheek, hats in a door, and, and yeah, all these kids. So. Once a cleaner, <laughs> and now they're the equipment officer for Chelsea. Yeah. Fantastic. So it means that as I uh, work it down your your lineage as your papa, it will interest in sport. That is why maybe also now follow the same trend. It was funny because my dad uh, worked for ten years in Chelsea, but they be going England. Uh, having uh, we never went to the stadium. I think only once. <laughs> mm. um, he loved sports, but he was not that into into football. To be honest, it was always education. Wow! Um, like every caring father, of course. Mm. So, yeah, football football has always been a sport, and um, yeah, it's, it's an addiction. Mm. Um, first time. Team Ben supported or hero? Of course. When my dad worked in Chelsea, it was a Chelsea football club, of course. Mm. Um, but before that, I think Man United. Mm -hmm. But more of a, uh, I would say, a manager supporter than, than a club supporter. Okay. So, so as you're just saying, <laughs> manager supporter. Exactly. So when Mourinho was at Chelsea, of course I was uh, supporting him. Yes. And then when he went to uh, United, then I came back to United. So, um, especially in the job, you, know, you have to you have to know what is going on, um, what the modern trends are, and which coaches maybe have that uh, same understanding of the game. Mm -hmm. So, so for me, you know, when a team plays well, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really have a, a favorite team. To be mm, with your coach in the philosophy now, and our monitor. Exactly. Wow. So, who is your favorite coach? Uh, at the moment, um, it varies. Um, Deserve is doing a fantastic job at Brighton. Special, special coach. Um, it has always been Mourinho because. I think he's the one that can blend uh, difficult characters okay. uh, together and, and getting the best out of uh, out of any type of uh, any type of player. So I think I think Jose. Jose, just one. Ghana for who the type of coach you are and uh, the certificate Ukuta are the way you the national under twenty. Um, so I'm currently holding the UEFA A uh, license. Okay, coach. Uh, badge. Uh, that's one above the highest. Hopefully, um, I'm going to do my pro line since uh, next year in the Belgium uh, FA. Okay. And that's the highest uh, badge, coaching badge. Uh, the type of coach I am, um, I think I'm a flexible coach depending on the squad and the type of team that um, I, I don't have a fixed way of working. Um, of course, we have a national DNA okay. that was developed by Mr. Bernard Lippert when he was here. So, of course, um, you have to understand football, understand the game, and the modern game is about time, space. I don't want to get too much into, in, into mm. tactics or too much into details, but um, a flexible coach, that uh, modern coach, um, I love attracting attractive football. Uh, my teams um, has to dominate the ball, okay, um, and also be very organized without the ball, so a very structured team, but very uh, hungry and aggressive, uh, because uh, it's very important to to make sure you control the space in the game. So, very short, a very uh, dynamic uh, approach of the game uh, based on the situation. So, I just say we create where we want the space. We create the moment where we want to score. Like you know, managing the game 90 minutes with them without the ball, basically. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. But did you ever anticipate to say one day you come back to Ghana and save? Yes, I think so because I was the only uh, black coach, black African coach in Belgium. Uh, I coached six years on the elite highest level. Highest level. More than more than six years, mm -hmm. even up to date. Uh, there's only one uh, African coach that's coaching in I think Antwerp, um, Ghent, yeah, under okay. 16. Mm -hmm. But I was uh, I was the only one for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So uh, on the elite level. So I remember a story where. Um, in Antwerp, uh, only two and a half years ago, where twelve-year-old, um, I think Congolese kid, saw me in the training ground mm -hmm. and asked me, "Is it me, Adewa?" Ah, and I'm saying, "I'm the under-18 head coach," and he was shocked. It's only two years ago, you know. Wow. So, um, yeah, that's o that's also one of the reasons why I, I stayed in Belgium for so long because I felt I felt like it was necessary for 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 us to represent or as an African to represent. Um, our own yeah. in the in the elite uh, elite level because we share clubs in our, I think sixty percent are all Africans in in, in, the, in all of the clubs yeah. in the, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah 
Hmm. Wonderful story, pa Anupay. And to Desmond of head coach, ma the national under twenty Anupay. You know, a dim common young common or a doors of a dual question beer and then them now or the But you heard the number of teams our coachy and uh, whether a uh, under age category teams or coachy are mommy into uh, teams, many teams, many or coachy. Yeah, so like I said, no, Mr. T in uh, Royal Antwerp, I was there for a very long time, uh, six to seven years, um, from under 12 to, to the first team. Um, after Antwerp, uh, after uh, Locrin. Um, I went to spot in. Uh, I went to Portugal, okay. uh, Lusitano side, which was a third division side, so Premier mm -hmm. uh, third division side with the senior men. Uh, so first team, interim head coach, fantastic experience because uh, mm -hmm. most of the coaches uh, make it uh, to the top because it's not an easy league at all. Tactically, uh, for me, the Portuguese are, are really are doing really well. Um, so after Lusitano, then I, I came to Antwerp. Um, Royal Antwerp mm. uh, for two uh, for one one good season and uh, now I'm here. Uh, wow! Yeah. Wow! It